Hey guys, my name is Jeremy and in this video I want to be giving you guys 15 date ideas during quarantine that you guys could do with your boyfriend, girlfriend, or whether it's a best friend during the summer. Now I'm going to briefly just go over the list and you know, I don't want to bore you guys and I just want to go through it as quick as possible so you guys could go on that date as soon as possible, you know what I'm saying? If you're new to my channel, my name is Jeremy and I'm a college student. So if you are a college student as well, or you're interested in my type of stuff, then go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button down below. And that's enough talking. Let's just jump right into the list that I have for you guys. So the first idea that you could do is cooking or baking stuff together in someone's house, whether it's your house or your partner's house or your best friend's house, right? And honestly, cooking doesn't have to be that hard or stressful because you guys could try easy recipes. You know, like when you go to Tasty or Buzzfeed or whatever, right? And you look at these recipes, you guys could try some like really easy recipes. Some of them could be like fried fried rice or dumplings or tacos or whatever kind of food it is. Not only can it be a fun date experience, but it's also going to be a learning experience as well. So you guys could be better cooks. You know what I'm saying? Idea number two is to run errands together. You know, whether it's a car wash or a quick grocery trip, you guys could always just do it together and makes it more fun. Obviously, you guys want to take precautionary steps and be careful out there. So that's why you guys have to wear masks and don't forget to be sanitized, you know, bring hand sanitizer and whatever. And yeah, honestly, you guys run errands together. It's better than running errands alone. So you might as well bring your partner or your best friend along with you. Idea number three is to play online games. Now, there are actually board games online that you could play, whether you're a Windows or a Mac user. You guys could play like Catan or you guys could play Monopoly. You guys could play Uno. You know, it'll be, it'll be a fun experience, you know, just like you and your girlfriend, boyfriend, and best friend. And you guys could just have fun online, you know, through Skype or through Discord. And you guys could talk to each other while playing games. So it is not a bad idea to kill time and just have fun with each other. Idea number four is to watch movies or shows together. Because obviously there's a lot of shows coming out, even though it's the quarantine. But, you know, the stuff has just been edited out. And now there are some movies and shows that you guys could stream on Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, or whatever. So you guys could just go to each other's houses and just watch movies together. Or if you want to watch it in a safer way online online there are some like watch parties and watch websites where you guys can watch things together which is super amazing our right, number five is going to be delivery services what i mean is not that you ordered from delivery services but if you're over 18 you guys could qualify to be a postmates driver an instacart driver a doordash driver and you might as well just bring your date along you know just deliver some food with them and just talk chill and have a nice night and you're also making money in the meanwhile so so it's definitely a win-win and something to consider about and it's not that hard to get started Number six is gonna be shopping together. And as you guys know, like Target, Walmart is now open. You guys should still take the precautionary steps, obviously to not get the virus, but you guys could try decorating your room, look for a new home decor, look for something new, change your bed sheet up, change your pillow sheets, and you guys can shop together and make it a more fun experience rather than shopping alone. Number seven is dining out. And there are some restaurants that are open for dine-out services where they have a patio. Depending on where you live, of course, in California, you are not allowed to have indoor dining. And that honestly doesn't sound like a bad idea, obviously, when the restaurant's all sanitized and clean and you know it's a trustworthy restaurant. And you got to make sure that employees are wearing face masks and face shields and whatever and take the precautionary steps. Then you guys can enjoy a nice dinner date together or a lunch date together depending on the time and just have a good time. Number eight is going to be a more romantic one. It's going to be picnic at the park. You guys could catch a sunrise, could catch a sunset and even bring one of your home cooked meals that I brought up in the first place. It's nice to just have a nice talk with your boyfriend, girlfriend or best friend or just have a nice laugh or a discussion before you end the night. Number nine is to build new furniture for your room. Now I know that some of y'all have probably some bookshelves or some tables that's like creaking or breaking and the wood's just peeling apart and whatever, right? So you might as well just replace it from Ikea or the Home Depot and make your own little furniture and just revamp your room. You know, it's the best time to do it during quarantine because you have nothing else to do. You might as well just improve your setup and make your house look nicer. Number 10 is gonna be arts and crafts. You guys can make DIY stuff pretty much out of everything. So if you go to Target and you buy arts and craft supplies, you guys can make some nice artwork, some nice painting, you know maybe something with popsicle sticks and make a little like pencil box or something like that you know just something fun to do or you guys could compete with each other like oh who can make the best creation out of popsicle sticks you know what i'm saying like or who can make the best you know dinosaur or giraffe out of popsicle sticks number 11 is going to be a drive-in movie theater and i don't know depending on where you live if there are any drive-in movie theaters open but you guys can go ahead and catch a movie and it is completely safe because you guys are staying in your own cars you guys are bringing your own radio for the sound and you guys are pretty much parked you know like a few spaces apart from each other so it is pretty much impossible to get the COVID transmission if you're just staying in your car again it is a nice experience because you not only do you have your own little space in your car but since all movie theaters are closed this is a nice way to watch movies and enjoy it on the really big screen number 12 is going to be for the brainiacs out there you guys could do a puzzle together or you know solve riddles and just quiz each other on different trivia stuff 
stuff. And, and again, this could be really fun, but you guys just have to be patient. And it's just nice teamwork. You know, you, you collaborate with your boyfriend, girlfriend, or your best friend to finish a puzzle or to finish a riddle. Number 13. Now this one's actually gonna be a pretty productive one. It's gonna be learning a new language. Now when you guys wanna learn a new language together, like Spanish, Mandarin, French, or whatever languages, you can learn together with your best friend, boyfriend, or girlfriend. And you guys could try to converse with each other every day so that way it's an effective way of learning the language. You guys could try to talk to each other in French or Spanish and try to correct each other or see what a word means. And that's how you could actually improve learning a new language. Number 14 is to clean or organize your house. Now this is similar to building the furniture, but again, you don't need to build anything. And if you're on a tight budget, you know what? You could just rearrange some furniture in your room. That's what I did recently. And my girlfriend helped me out, rearrange my whole room. And then not only that, but we made a new bookshelf. So yeah, my rooms completely look different. As you notice, if you watch my first videos to now, you could see that the whole setup is different. And I did that all during quarantine. And not only that, but you know, I got to refresh the look of my room. It's been like five years, it looks the same. So now when I wake up, it's like, oh wow, it looks like a brand new room, a brand new setup, you know? And last but not least, one of the things that you guys could do is to create a bucket list together of what you guys are gonna do after the quarantine. So I've made a video recently about what people are going to do after the quarantine. You could take some inspiration off of that if you want to, but yeah, you guys could visit an amusement park, visit a concert, book a hotel, get a trip somewhere together, a long distance trip, you know? Whatever it is, you guys can start making your bucket list. So then once the whole COVID thing is over, you guys can now enjoy and you guys actually planned out what you guys are going to do. That's all I have for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit a like and hit the subscribe button as well if you're interested in my content. And as you all know, I do upload videos weekly and I'll catch you guys all next week. Bye, guys.